Standing long and proud, these trees have caught the woodcutter's eye. Using his mechanical chopper, he cuts a notch in the bottom to determine the direction in which the trunk will fall. This way he avoids getting a nasty bump on the head. As an added precaution, the woodcutter has a tough helmet. Hacking away at the sticky out branches, taking care not to cut his legs off, the woodcutter is left with a tidy pile of trunks made from billions of cellulose fibres. To make paper, these fibres must be pulled apart here at the mill. The paper maker's day begins with a long grinding session. Magnificent machines will break the wood into millions of fibrous shreds with these hardened tools of steel. It's no accident that the mill is built next to a river. This water will be mixed with the shreds to make a pulpy porridge that is made creamy white with the application of a little bleach. And so to the paper making machine itself, where the magic happens. To begin with, the creamy white fluid is sucked off by a rotating steel drum that builds up a thick layer of the tangled cellulose fibres ready for couching. Couching is the business of lifting what is effectively wet, soggy paper off the roller onto a layer of felt. Having done the delicate job of lifting the soggy paper, the felt has to give it up so the paper may be dried. A series of steam heated rollers gently warm the paper so it's relieved of the unwanted wetness being simultaneously dried out and flattened. Having dried the paper off, the paper makers here like to make it all wet again. But this isn't ordinary water. It's a bath of specially concocted chemicals that size the paper so it can be painted on without the colours running all over the sheet. Then the paper is turned onto a cardboard core, like a toilet roll fit for a giant's bottom. In the quality control department, samples are tested under brush and nib. The factory manager wants to know if his paper can hold paint and ink without suffering from lateral flow issues. So, this particular batch of paper has been passed. The lady here is the woodcutter's wife and she has a chopper of her own. She cuts the perfectly sized paper into perfectly sized sheets. Working cheerfully, this lady slips the paper into plastic sheaths. Made safely watertight, by sealing the ends under a hot iron bar. From here, the paper will be sent all over the world to be used by all sorts of artists, some good and some not so good. This artist, however, is an expert. He's making an ink picture of a beautiful building. Most of us, of course, prefer to paint in colour. I wonder what these two are daubing. They look to be concentrating very hard. Ha ha! No wonder. It's a moving target. A fine picture indeed. Good enough to grace the walls of any modern art gallery.